Alright, we're going to get started on the next hive now. Get the lid off of it. Kind of shake off the dirt. Set it right here next to it. So we're going to take the feeder out on this one. I'm going to dump the syrup out. Yeah, let me just set this here. So you see some of them did drown in the syrup. One is still kind of alive in there. Can we get a little stick and get her out? She'll be fine when I dump it all out. Okay. Flip it over. Flip it, oh. If you'd flipped it over, you wouldn't have had to spill nearly as much. I think we're going to be cleaning these out anyhow. So there are these holes in the wood here so they could get to that feeder through from the hive very easily. It's called the follower board. Alright, so let's go ahead and take the lid off the main section here. Again, we're going to start on the far right. They probably have not built a comb over here yet. Get these out of the way so I have some room to work. Okay, so we're starting to see some bees here. I'm trying to keep these in the same order. Watch out, there's one underneath. Okay, it's good. So there's bees on this next one. I don't know if they're, they've got comb yet. Looks like they're just starting to comb. So let's leave that one in there since there's so many on it. Let's move it over here. Okay, this next one they do have comb. And you might want to get the camera in here as I pull it apart. You can see the, the bees with the wax chain between them. Yeah, I can see, see that. See right here? Yeah. And right here? So this looks like it's just freshly made comb. Probably not going to find anything other than maybe some sugar water in there. Alright, I see it. Do we need to see the other side? No. Nope. Okay. It's same on both sides on the new comb. Okay. Now it's interesting that this hive, the bees built all their comb on the side closest to us, whereas on the uh, Lexington hive, they built it on the far side. Right, there's some brood on this side. Um, can you flip it so we're looking at the same side at the same time? Sure. Thank you. So we've got eggs over here on the right. I don't know if you can see those. Watch the angle. Okay. And then a little bit of capped brood comb in the center. So mm -hmm. we definitely have the queen because we see the eggs. So Great. we're not going to worry about trying to find her as much on this one. We'll just kind of check the progress. So you see, all these are all filled with eggs down here. They're all going to have larvae in the next couple days, and then be capped in about five days. Okay. Very nice. So they don't have as many top bars with comb on this one. They only have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The other one had nine. That's been this uh, that way consistently. Last inspection, they were again. They were also one top bar less. I'm going to bring it around so we both are looking at the same side. Looks nice. There's a lot of brood on that. Yep. Some yeah. pollen at the top. A little bit some of honey. honey. Some honey. Yep. Okay. Let's just take a look at the other side real quickly. I'm going to bring it around. Sorry, with my arm in your way here. That's good. Okay. This one's a lot more capped brood cells. Mm -hmm. There's one drone cell on the top right. Yeah, it looks like some might have like one down the bottom. Some there's some drone at the bottom maybe. Looks like some have also hatched and come yep. out. I so I was just trying to see if there were eggs in that one. I did see a few eggs. So again, I'm putting it in the same way we pulled it out. Alright. 
So they're building some comb over on this side, it looks like. It's kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. Kind of mm-hmm. skipping the section, middle section. That's the first time we've seen that. All right, so you got some larva down here, and then eggs all along here. Uh-huh. I gotta make sure I'm holding it straight up, not at an angle. Yeah. All right, let's flip around the other side. Looks like a lot of hatched here on the yes. your right side. Mm-hmm. That's good. Okay. Looks good. I mean, if you if you see the queen, we can stop and look at her a little closer. But I'm not gonna yeah. spend a lot of time looking for her. And if we if we just happen to spot her, we'll take a look. Because we do see eggs. So and we have the video, so we can look at that later. Yeah. I'm gonna start over here on this side. Sorry, I'm just trying to get a good grip on it. Okay. So there are eggs on this one on the right side as well. It looks like a lot of hatched comb on the left. It actually broke off. You can look down and see some broke off the side there. There was a decent chunk that stuck to the side. Uh, wow, you can actually see the larva there, right? Or was it pollen? I'm What's not a, sure. You can see where one of the honeycomb cells broke open there and what's inside of it, but we're not sure what that is. Okay, I'm going to set this back down. So here, so my arm's gonna be in your way a little bit more because I'm having to reach. And again, we're, notice how we're doing this not standing in front of the entrance. We want them to still be able to come and go without running into us, so it disturbs them as little as possible. You All can right. look in and see a lot. There's a lot of the uh, wax pieces down at the bottom of the hive as well in this one. Mm -hmm. Looks like little sand crystals almost. I wonder if we should break this comb off the edge of the hive. So we don't have an actual hive tool. We have like little mini crowbar in case we have to pop these up. So I'm just using this uh, weeding tool to scrape off the edge. This wax off the edge here because I don't want them building along the side. I'm just going to have it fall to the bottom. And they can do what they want with it from that point. Is that working? Yeah, it's coming off. I'm just want to be gentle so they don't... There. So they may just abandon that, and we can pull it out later. I want to at least give them the opportunity to reuse that wax if they are able to. Okay. So we got a lot, lot of brood. A lot of brood, and a little bit of honey on this one. There's not as much honey cells on this hive as the other. Not as many drone cells either, so this one's not quite as strong as the Lexington Hive. But still doing really well. I'm very happy with it. Other side? The other side, real quickly. Looks, Looks about the good. same. And again, there's the eggs all along in here. Good. So they're, just, they're not building the comb as fast as the other one. But the queen is laying in the new comb as fast as they're making it. Okay. Right, that looks pretty good. You need to take a look at the bottom left there, see if there's eggs. I don't see anything in there, but we can. Oh, there are. I see larvae in okay, some of them. Good. Yeah, some of them that are in, that are not capped have larvae in them. Just trying to get a close look. So. Okay. Alright. So this one looks like it's got a lot of new comb going on it. Some capped yeah. brood comb. And larva in the um, cells that aren't capped yet. Yep, larva right on the edges and there's probably eggs on the sides around it. Same deal on this side. Uh-huh. Good. All 
Alright, last top bar. Yeah, see they built the the wax comb spread across the top bars is much less on this hive than on Lexington, but they have a good amount of pollen and syrup and a lot of brood. So they're still doing pretty well. Good. And that's it. So we'll start reassembling it. Sliding it back together. I'm going to step over to this side so I can move it. Maybe let's trade places here. So here he's making sure that the bees are not between the bars as he slides them together, trying to avoid crushing as many as possible. Alright, so these three look like they're already pretty tight, so I'm going to try and move them all simultaneously. So now we'll just put the remaining top bars. We don't have any comb on. And then eventually, hopefully in a month or two, I'll have these covered in a comb. And we'll just take the follower board out all the way. The top bars going across the entire hive. Just trying to even these up now. Before I put the lid on. Just trying to line them up so they're nice and even here on the edge. Okay, and then I'll put the uh, cover pieces back on it. They kind of warped a little bit, so I'm going to try to put the vent side up so the weight of the roof will help it flatten out. And the reason we have these divided is so that later on when there's when the colony is a lot stronger so we can have two sections down and just work with one section at a time, especially during the honey harvest when the bees might be a little more aggressive, it'll prevent more bees from coming out. Let's tighten this up. So it's pretty good. I might flip this around. Mm. See if it's flatter on this other side. A little more flush. It's about the same. Okay, so now I'll just go ahead and put the roof back on. We did the whole inspection, we didn't even need the smoker. The bees were fine, except for that one when I was sealing up Lexington. So, you want to make sure it's pretty tight fit, so I want to make sure that it covers the edge here and I'll look on the other side. And then the brick is uh, on the other hive, you'll need to grab it from there. I didn't even really need to use the brush at all. I'd use that more if we were wanting to harvest comb and we brush the bees off so we could take the comb away. And that's it? That's it.